it's me from Unicorn Life Hacks, and today we are going to be making a couple different types of Christmas ornaments, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get on to this video. Let's go. So, today, all right, so this is what you'll need. Like, sticker letters, if that is optional, um, just like stickers. I have foam stickers because that's what I wanted to use, but you can use whatever or decoration stickers you like. Like, um, probably like foam ca craft paper if you're gonna make like, like ornament ornaments and a Sharpie and some paper. Regular paper doesn't have to be lined or construction paper. I just grabbed this for demonstration. Wait, guys and knees. Wait, that didn't go. Anyway, um, so, and then you'll need some yarn, uh, a pom pom, ornament hook. I have some more foam stickers here. And, um, yeah, yeah. So, the first one we'll be doing is probably the simplest. There are two ways to do it this is a pom pom that I made. Uh, it wasn't the one that I made last night, though. It was this one that I made last night. I was kind of in a rush, so I didn't do good. But here's a good one. But this one was, like, trimmed up and stuff like that. I just didn't want to make a mess. So this was trimmed over the garbage can, though. Um. So what you're going to want to do is find the middle where we secured it. And... Uh, Oh, my pet birds will not be quiet. So, there's a middle where you secured it right there. And all you have to do is take your ornament hook. Oh, it might pull out some pieces of yarn, but don't worry about it. Um, and there you go. But if you don't have ornament hooks, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. I mean, easy way to do it if you have yarn. But this does not work very well with store-bought um, pom-poms because they don't have a secured middle. So, uh, yeah. So just cut a piece of yarn that needs to be bigger than that. Probably around five inches, maybe six. Uh, secure it with your pin. I showed you that in my yarn hacks last night and normally you would put it in a bowl so that way you could pull it out easily like that's how easily it ravels when it's in the bowl and it can just roll around and it won't go all over the place and your pets won't play with it if you have cats or dogs or stuff like that but I only have parakeets so yeah oh and shout outs to make a Picard because she subscribed she was the first subscriber to my channel which I think is awesome and Megan if you're watching this you are awesome so yeah um and now I'm here the, by the way Megan provided me the yarn she, Megan's my my friend uh it's just somebody that I know. Uh, so yeah, just give a shout out to her. And yeah, and then all you have to do is tie an eye in it. And you have your own ornament hook. But you gotta feed it through the middle where you secured it and stuff like that, so. And and then you just hang it on your tree. Pause. So the next ornament we will be doing with this, uh, and I might not be able to use the whole punch on this because it's like way too thick. Yeah, I can't do it. So, well, all you have to do is put the scissor blade through it, and it poked a decent hole. Pretty decent. Um, 
and then yeah, just make a big hole. This is in foam craft paper, so and then take your yarn or your ornament hook uh, and secure, secure your yarn. You only need a piece about this big. It's just however long, long and dangly you want to make it. And this would also work good as necklaces and bracelets or hair ties or s stuff like that. Um. And then all you got to do is tie it. Tie it in a tight knot. And then decorate. Um, I'm going to use some of these. And put this in the middle of this butterfly. And put that in the middle of your butterfly ornament. I mean, just put it in the middle of your thing. I got this butterfly pre-cut, and these are foam craft stickers, no glue included. And I think it looks pretty cute. Pause, take a drink. Ready? And hang it on your tree. You might have to, like, perk it up like that. Uh, um, sorry, I didn't know the camera was on. So the next ornament you will be making on a piece of paper. I'm just doing this upside down because I've done it a bunch of times. So there's your ornament. You might want to make it a little bit bigger than I did, but I can't really do it since so it's upside down. But you can do it in whatever shape you want. I'm just doing it like this. Too bad we don't have pipe cleaners, so I could make pipe cleaner canteens. Shoot. This is hard to do. It's hard to cut. But, uh, yeah. stickers fell and just explode all over the floor. Um, but it is okay because I already have my letter selected and on the table. And so now what you want to do is, if anything fell over, pick it up. <laughs> yeah, so, and then use your hole punch. I use this for fabric cutting so I don't know it, it's not meant for fabric but I used it, it for that anyways so I hope this isn't broken and just put on your foam decoration I mean your sticker decorations So I'm just gonna put on my foam de foam decorations. Now 
Don't say you don't want to peel off the wrong sticker and it won't get back on, especially with foam stickers. It drives me nuts. And so, uh, yeah. And then now you want to take your yarn or your ornament hook. Uh, if you want to make yours your more sturdy, you can put a piece of tape, tape over it before you put the hole punch on. And so that way it won't rip, but that's out. I forgot to get the tape. And then we were just like, let's just film a video, and I forgot about the tape, so. But, yeah, put your, I think you would tie it like every other one. And that we done this. Unless you have an ornament hook, you don't have you could skip this step, but if you need a ornament, if you use an ornament hook, just stick it through the hole and make it however you want it. And hang it on the tape. 